So here we have it folks, we got the Ambernic RG35XX model. As you have known from my previous video, I have actually featured the RG Nano model. Though I was really impressed with the performance level and the portability, I was very disappointed with the screen size. It's not really that practical. So I've been suggested to get the RG35XX. So here it goes with the unboxing. Now, to start with, it's a very good weight. I could immediately pick. So let's actually take out the seal. I ordered the purple uh, transparent one actually. And look at that, that is really good. I love it actually, and it's really good weight. Always check the weight. So to start with, we got three and a half inch screen, which is really impressive. So you can see most of the details while you play the game up, down, left and right button, menu, A, B, X, Y, select and start, and with the speaker as well. On the right hand side from the top, we've got the power button, reset, two micro SD slot. And on the left hand side, we've got the volume up and down. And on the bottom, we got the DC USB-C connection, and also the headphone jack as well. On the top, we got the micro HDMI slot, uh, which I haven't seen the cable, but I'm sure you could get it. But apparently you can connect to your monitor or your TV to be able to play as well. So suddenly this becomes the controller, if you see what I mean. On the back hand side, we got the R1, R2, L2 and L1. So this apparently has a battery level of 2600 milliamp hour and it's actually made in China from Ambernic. To the rest of the package, if we open up the main box cover, we got the screen wipes one and two, and this is the instruction manual. So on the front, we got English writing description. On the back, we got it's Chinese, isn't it? Okay. And this is the screen protector. Um, but to be honest with you, I believe there is already a screen uh, protector here if you uh, correct, if you like to correct me, but this actually bumps out. So I'm not sure whether this is the actual default. Yeah, unfortunately, this doesn't cover the whole screen, but it's like um, we can see the edge revealing while placing this. So I'm not really sure if most of you are going to actually Put this in but I'm actually kind of convinced that this itself will be good enough but thinking about it it's only about 60 to 70 pounds which I don't think I'm gonna regret it if the screen cracks I'll probably move on to the next one which sounds very rich of me so the next one is I guess quite obviously the USB-C cable isn't it yep that's it so it's quite a thick good quality USB-C cable charger. So let's turn it on. Ambernic. I love that. Another Ambernic. Buffering. Here we have it folks. So we got the game room, favorites, history, search, and settings. So on the settings, we've got battery, shutdown, date and time, IO test, button sound, icon settings, background settings, language settings, schedule power off as well. And then a backlight time, a backlight brightness, button custom, clearing history, Clear favorite records, clear core uh, association, firmware version as well, and switch OS, okay? So let's actually try the games room, shall we? So we got PS1, vertical arcade, CPS1 game, CPS2 game, CPS3 game, Neo Geo game, FB Neo game, MAME or MAME game, GBA game, NES, SNES, SMS game, MD game, GBC game, GB game, PCE game, NGPC, GG game, and lastly, 
WSC game. So I guess the best way to find out how good the performance is, is we should check out from PS1 game, shouldn't we? So let's click on that. So we've got Bloody War, um, Bomberman World, Brave Fencer, Musashi, Capcom vs SNK. This might be the worst one actually. Uh, Castlevania, so this one is not really graphic required. Command and Conquer, okay, that's good. So I'm trying to find one of the most um, graphic performance uh, demanding games, but as you can see, we've got plenty of PlayStation 1 games here as well. Resident Evil 3, wow. Ridge Racer 4 might be a good one to try, but um, also Tekken as well. This game list goes on and on doesn't it so finally we got 56 default ps1 game here for seven pages so let's actually try out the ridge race of four shall we not sure about why but the maybe because of the performance required it's slightly blurry it's not that sharp i don't know whether you guys can see it um, but that's how it looks, okay? So let's actually try the Grand Prix. So we're just about to start the game. It's a bit loud, so let's actually... You know what, that's really good. So because of the camera itself, it's getting blurry all the time. I'm just trying to play the game while looking at the camera at the same time. But I have to say the screen size to start with is really impressive. Um, so hardly any stalling at all. I can guarantee you I'm much better, better player uh, without recording this video, but um, I'm trying to play the game while looking at the camera screen, if you see what I mean, but yeah. So, really good performance. Well done. Ah, the Final Fantasy VII all-in-one disc. Normally, if you were to download Final Fantasy VII, it comes with four discs, which is really annoying. Avalanche, eh? I don't know how many times I actually played this part. Yeah, this is the part I really wanted to show you guys, okay? So, um, because, of the, because of the reflection, uh, there was a bit of a blurry part, but look at that. No stalling whatsoever. That's really good. Now, let's try the um, Tekken 3. Probably one of my most favorite Tekken series of all time because we're seeing the new introduction of Kwarang Who's Korean by the way So you can see my fingers doing this and we all know why I'm doing this Come on Perfect. See? You know, just to know the fact that I can play Tekken 3 on this game console, tiny game console, is really good. So let's play the Game Boy uh, games, shall we? So um, I hope there's... Um, King of Fighter, here we go. So let's try 98, which was also good. But the rumor tells me that this could be changed to green for some reason, the screen, but it's not. Um, okay, so it's more like black and white, isn't it? Still good. Can we actually change it to green? Um, let's look at the menu. Video display effect, HD. All right, so scan line. Also 
uh, dot matrix HD. Yeah, that's pretty cool, isn't it? Let's actually try the scan line here and then go back. Yeah, that's not. Okay, so pretty much black and white. but um, really sharp, this one. So that's how it looks like for the Game Boy. So next one is MAME. Um, there's only 408 games. I say only 408 because I know there are plenty of more games that is available. So I better actually download by using the uh, USB-C cable that is given. Um, but well, I, I guess 400 games is pretty good, isn't it? So these are the quick list. So please do check it out. We're almost there, 200. So please do bear with me. I'm doing this for you guys. I know some of you might actually find this boring. But I'm doing this for you and I know those people will some people will be really appreciative that I'm actually doing this for you okay I have to say for overlay display um, if you go to menu here uh, for Game Boy I kind of like it actually it looks more like we're closer to the old um, console isn't it so let's play it <laughs> Good old Double Dragon. One of my favorite classic. Um, okay, so mission one. Okay, so that's how it looks like. And the screen, again, is still pretty good. Oh, by the way, one of the coolest features I have to say on my end is that you can actually search the game that you're after, which I think is really cool. Why can't a lot of console that is available have this searching option? I'm trying to look for uh, Super Mario Bros. And um, let's see if we get one. But yeah, this is something that I think um, any game console, tiny console like this, should have. So my personal suggestion, I don't know whether you agree, is that I always like the um, lining effect on the actual screen. Um, this is actually HD and clearly you can see a bit of um, unpleasant sort of finishing. It doesn't feel like the way how I used to play the King of Fighter 94. So what I would suggest to do is press the menu and then on the HD uh, change it to scan line one or two but I think scan line uh, one will be good enough so if we go back that is far better it actually brings the good old days display if you go back and go to settings I just realized what you can do on the settings here is very minimum comparing to what you can see what you experienced from the previous or um, other OS system that I'm aware of actually. So for example, what I'm trying to get at is that this is the Steam Deck, um, the uh, arcade OS system that I actually installed. There's this um, scraper, UI settings and so on. These sorts of uh, settings are not available. So it kind of feels like immediately that you're constrained that you have to play with uh, what's already available as a default and it's there's very little chance that you'll be able to play other games that you prefer so if you go to the settings and then the last one is to switch os you just need to press that to yes and then it will turn off uh, by itself so what you need to do is press the power until you see the green light starts you can see that green light starting and then you'll be be able to see that garlic os is starting it's quite a time consuming uh, effort but um, you get kind of used to it um, but there's one of the other crucial thing that i want to share with you actually is that um, uh, if you go back to the uh, 
this the there's about 900 uh, main games that I installed here, right? And then if I were to go to one of the games, it seems like the ones that is compatible with main 2003 uh, software, it takes ages to uh, start. For example, this one, uh, the uh, WrestleFest is that if I press it, it goes on and on and on. And I actually tried it several times with the other game that is compatible. Um, with the main 2003. Now, the, 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 it seems like there are two different options here for main uh, for the Garlic OS. There's 2000 and 2003. So 2003 seems to be more compatible with many of the games that I have, but with two, main 2000, uh, there's a lot of game that is not compatible. Hence, I was hoping that I will, uh, I'm able to access to this UI uh, settings and so on. But again, Garlic OS doesn't seem to have that function either. Still, we're waiting for the game to start. It's been several seconds that I've been dragging and I'm kind of feeling embarrassed. I feel really bad that you guys have to wait for it. But I just want to prove my point here. For the main 2000, and, yeah, here we go. That took ages, people. But it does work. But it's annoying to realize that it takes this long to start every single game. Obviously, for main version 2000, you're not able to play this game in several games. So you got to make a choice. Either you prepare to wait several, uh, almost a minute per game to start, which I think many of you wouldn't mind, but um, it's just a bit of a let off. I hope there's a better way to do it. But again, if you go back to the, um, the actual settings itself, um, it's very limited, really, for some reason. Um, I don't know whether uh, reinstalling to the actual OS system of the same one that I'm using for the Steam OS here will be a solution. But if you guys have managed to do that, please let me know. But if we go to the apps here, like what I said, there seems to be not the function that I'm looking for. So it's, again, you kind of feel sort of um, constrained with the use of the additional games that you want to play with. Um, again, I'm not really pleased with the retro arch. Maybe you guys could actually um, teach me how to use it. But when I go here and when I load the core, this also seemed to take ages as well. So I need a bit of a train up, but um, that's the impression I get so far. So here I have it folks, bit of a mixed feeling in regards to this um, RG35XX. I think the design itself is perfect almost. I love the color of it. The screen size is also great as well. The weight and all the buttons and so on. I don't really miss the toggle sort of uh, uh, button. So that's fine with me. But when it comes to installing new games, there seems to be a compatibility issue here that I wish could be resolved by having more options on the actual OS system, the given OS system. So perhaps maybe installing a, another different type of OS system that allows to have this sort of setting change, uh, then I think it will be much better. Uh, so maybe I might actually give a go on that. But I hope this video represented with a most honest way regards to this Ambernec RG35XX, which is known to be one of the most best-selling classic arcade uh, console console at the moment but if you have any queries or if you are against my personal um, opinion interpretation of this whole unit please do comment below and thank you very much for watching this video this is lgb tech all the best bye bye